Welcome to Social Work Updates. In this video, we are going to talk about the remedial model by Robert Venter. Different treatments or rehabilitation for groups are already utilized by the social workers in the Philippines, specifically those social workers working in various mental health agencies and psychiatric wards in the hospital as early as 60s. However, in the year 70s and 80s, the utilization of such approach and treatments greatly reduced in social work practice. But nowadays, there is a revival of interest because of many serious problems that needs to be confronted in our society. This might include sudden family breakdown, drug abuse or abuser, delinquency and crime, and violence against women and children. This video will introduce a model or approach which has been utilized in social work practice known to be a very applicable to groups which encounter such problems. The model that I will be presenting is the Robert D. Vinter's Remedial Model. If we are going to talk about the target of this model, a person's might include person who are headed towards deviant paths unless given timely attention. The model is important to any social agencies or institutions especially agencies who perform social control functions. The worker are tasked to facilitate those who are considered taking a deviant paths because they have violated the norms and laws of our society. This include clients in juvenile and adult correctional institutions, drug rehabilitation centers, mental hospitals, and other mental health facilities. The model is also suitable for those who needs help in acquiring new knowledge and skills. And aside from that it will also develop new values and attitudes to replace their own which we find it dysfunctional and become the source of their problem. A clients who are under this category would include A parents belong to A low income families. A patients whose medical or physical conditions call for new knowledge and skills. A physically handicapped in a rehabilitation centers, and many others with similar problems. After knowing what is remedial model, let us understand what is this treatment group. Robert Vinter sees the treatment group as a small social system whose influence can be guided in planned ways to modify clients' behavior. A social forces generated within a small groups are utilized to pursue goals for client change. The worker influences the following, the group's composition, development, and its processes. The group is served as a means of treatment and also a context of treatment. This means that the group actually serves as a vehicle through which peer interactions and influences are utilized to affect each group members. Aside from that, it also provides opportunities for direct worker to client interactions which can contribute to change. To carry out the change, Vinter introduces treatment sequence which he believes that it should be followed. This involves the several major stages. Each one characterized by events, practitioner decisions and activities. And client experiences which refer to phases in group development. The process involves the following. First is the intake. Followed by diagnosis and treatment planning. Group composition and formation group development and treatment, and lastly is the evaluation and termination. This stages creates changes and take place both internal structure, processes and culture of the group. To learn more about the phases of group development, stay tuned on the next video. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more social work updates, please watch and like the video. Hit the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel.